Is the Skull & Co Neo Grip any good? So if you're like me and you find the normal Joy-Cons kind of cramp your hands up a little bit because they're in a little bit tight and they're not very ergonomic, well then you might be looking for a grip because a grip fits around your OLED or your Switch and well then, you know, it kind of makes it more ergonomic, makes it a little bit nicer, it corrects the angle of your hands so that you can hold the Switch in a better position, which will stop you getting like numb hands and stuff like that. Maybe you just got large hands, well then a grip might be your thing. So the Skull & Co Neo Grip actually works with the Switch OLED as well as the normal OLED. So disclaimer, they did send us this product for free. However, I'm under no obligation to sway my opinion and I'm always, always honest on this channel. If you were subscribed, you would know about that. So go down there and subscribe. But here it is. Here is the Skull & Co Neo Grip, but this is the one that comes with the Max Carry Case. So there are like two versions of this. You can just buy the Neo Grip by itself, or you can buy it with the case, which is a massive hard case. So we've got the kind of like full bundle here. So this is it really. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. So straight away we get the big Neo Grip just here and it's really noisy, I'm sorry. And there it is, that's all of that good stuff. But what else do we get in here? Oh look, we get a couple of these. So let's check what these are out. What, what these are out? Come on, Andy. Anyway, let's uh, check these out. So that there is one of the grips that are gonna be used on the side of the shell. But I'll come back to these in a minute. Let's just stick them over there. So this is the case. So straight away with a case, it is a hard case. Wee! Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I just went wee, but I did. Anyway, <laughs> this is the case. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice looking case, to be honest. We've got little Skull & Co, like, skulls on the corner. Kind of cool. I kind of like that. And opening it up, we get a load of stuff. So I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, and we get the case itself. We didn't get a free OLED, sadly, uh, but this is the case. Again, we'll come back to this. Let's see what we get inside the box first. So in the case wise, well, you've got this kind of like area up here that you can put cables and stuff in. You've got like 10 game slots by the look of it on here. And if you open up this little flap, well then there's like another piece here which actually bends up. So this piece here bends up and I'll show you more about that in a minute. But underneath we get more of the grips. So if I can get them out, which I'm struggling to do, there we go. So you could just remove this piece and then you've got like an area for a power bank or whatever you want in there, which is really, really cool. But yeah, when you've got the case here, you can actually bend this piece up and kind of like stick it at an angle and then you can have your switch in there so it like props it up. So, you know, you can use that feature, which is kind of cool. There we go. So here is the actual grip. So it's got two grips already pre-installed into it, but this is like the main shell. So let me take these off. And this is pretty much the grip right here. So it's really, really simple. But the first thing I wanna say, because I did say at the beginning, you can use this with the Switch or the Switch OLED, there is a way. So on the back, you're probably thinking, well, it's for the Switch OLED. So it's too big, right? Well, actually this piece removes. So up here where it says Switch OLED just here, well, if I turn it around, there's screws. So you remove the screws, remove this piece, slide it up together and then reinsert the screws and then it's then the right size for the normal switch. But because I don't have a normal switch, I'm not gonna show you that because I don't have one. But yeah, so this is basically it. So what you do is you get this top piece here, this kind of like little thing at the top and it says unlock by pushing it. Now I do wanna say this is really, really tough. Like it's kind of jams in there, not in like a bad way. It's I'd rather it be like stiff than loose and falling out. But the amount of times I've done this and then it's pinged like across the room or whatever. So there is a chance that you could lose this piece, which is the piece that grips onto the top. But once you've got that off, what you then have to do is get your OLED, take one of the Joy-Cons off and then you kind of like slide it into place like so. Make sure it's like in the corner. Then what you do is you put the Joy-Con back in and then slide it in like that. Then what you do is you get this piece and you just kind of like stick it over the top. So there we go. So that like holds it in. Not that I think it's actually gonna go anywhere because it is really grippy. There is like rubber 
pieces on the back of that grip that hold it in. I'll show you them again later, but it does have like grip built around the actual grip itself to like hold the switch in place. And it definitely feels snug. There is no movement on that whatsoever. Like it's, it's really stuck on there. And that piece there just kind of like secures it into place so that's what it is obviously this doesn't really like work as anything really it kind of changes it a bit but then we have these so these on the side are like little rails and that's what these come in handy for so all of these just here are different grips so you've got these like trigger grips just here so when you hold them it actually like gives you somewhere to rest your finger whereas these ones are really, really small and it just gives you something to like grip onto the side of your hands with, right? So that you can hold the switch a bit better. And then these ones, which I think these are probably my favorite, are much wider ones and they kind of like stick out. So let's put them on. So to put them on, I'll show you the small ones first. So you have to find the right one for it. So this is that side. And what you need to do is make sure it's absolutely flat and drop it like that, like I did. Um, and then you make sure it's absolutely flat and you kind of like slide it up and then click like that. So then that is installed. I do find this a little bit difficult sometimes because half the time when I like do it, I, I'm, I'm not like actually putting it on. So you have to make sure it's really like pushed flat for it to actually slip on. And then the same with the other side, you have to really make sure it's pushed flat and then up and there we go. So this is the first set of grips just here. So. I kind of like these, they're very subtle, they're just small grips. So if you've got small hands, this is probably gonna be a, like a good one for you. But yeah, with these on, you kind of get like some good like hand grip just here. It gives it a little bit more grip on the sides just so that you can hold the switch. But it doesn't really change the ergonomics of your hand very much. So I don't know, I don't really like these. If you want like a very slim case, this is pretty good. But yeah, these aren't for me personally. And then to take these off, all you need to do is like pull until they kind of like come off. So same on the other side, push, they come off. So the next ones I'll try are these with this like grip. So push down flat. See, I missed, I missed. So there we go, that's one. And then you push and there we go, there's the other. So that's what these ones look like with the like trigger kind of like grips on the side. And you can see how much more ergonomic this becomes because there's an actual like controller handle for you to use. And you can see it does flare out at the sides, which instantly make your hand go from this to more like this, which is more natural for your wrists and your thumbs to get better accuracy on the like joysticks. So this is way more comfortable and you have like these parts just here so that you can like rest your fingers on on the side there. So these are actually really nice. I do quite like these grips, but I do think the other ones are better. So these will be good for medium to large hands. But again, like I said, let's check the other ones out. So I take these off and slide those up and oh, didn't do it. There we go. So there, these are the largest ones and you can see how much of an angle these come out at. So they really are quite like a big angle and especially at the front, you can see how much these like overhang. And on the side, just look how big that is. So you can really get some grip on there. So these right here give you the best angle for thumb action. So I've got like medium sized hands. Yeah, I'd say medium sized hands. And these are by far the most comfortable for me because of the wrist like direction. It's a much more like flared out design which gives you way more support for your thumbs and it's just really comfortable i really like these because these are so large you can get a really good grip on like this big molded area as well so i definitely like these all of the grips have got this kind of like etched design on them which give them grip they're like got little tiny dots all over them which is kind of cool i do like that like absolutely every one of these has that Oh, well, no, no, I'm lying. It's it's not on these ones. These ones have like a different design. So you can see that this is just kind of like, like ripples instead, which is still nice and comfy. But on the big ones, you have this kind of like dotted design. So that's what it looks like. It's got Skull & Co there. It says OLED model. You've got the little like Neo Grip symbol there. And yes, you can still use the kickstand if you really want to. So you can still get that kickstand up and open despite the fact that this is on. However, because of the size of these, it isn't really gonna work very well, but you can use this. So it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's definitely way needed if you find that 
the normal Joy-Cons aren't very comfortable. I, I'm okay with the Joy-Cons for a little while, but if I'm gonna play extended periods of time, then a grip like this is definitely worth having. Now, I actually really like the color, the plastics and everything feel good. It's got a good like fit and feel to it. I do really like that. I like the way that it exposes the shoulder pads. It is just going around the edges, which is definitely nice because it still gives you access to every like action. It doesn't hide or cover the shoulder buttons, which is definitely a nice point. And yeah, it's just kind of a cool case. It's not really going to add any protection because you know, well, the screen's completely exposed, the top and bottom basically are as well, but this is purely just for ergonomics and grip. So let's take it out and I'll show you how to remove it. So you take the sides off, if you want to, you can leave these on, but you know, then you kind of remove this piece, which again, you can see how stiff it is. There you go, I've just pinged it off. So you remove that, then you get one of the joysticks and you kind of just slowly remove it. And then you just take the switch out. So let's put that back together. And there you go. So this is what I was saying about earlier. These are like rubber sort of supports that are all the way around. So they're like pretty much everywhere to kind of space off the switch from this. Now I would say that those screws right there are pretty scratchy. So you could potentially scratch the switch with that, but hopefully these rubber standoffs, you know, won't actually uh, let them touch the back of the switch. I haven't actually looked to see. No, the back of my switch is absolutely fine. But with prolonged use, those rubber pads could compress and that could end up scratching. So you might wanna get like a bit of rubber or something or another bit of felt and just cover that to stop those screws ever like, you know, scratching your switch, which is a, a thing that could happen. Okay, Andes, but how much is it? Well, in the US, these are $20 just for the grip, right? And I think it comes with all of these. So that's $20 with all the like handle accessories. So that's the grip plus the three sets of things, right? Or $40 including the case. Here in the UK, that's 17 pounds 99 just for the, the grip itself with the like handles. Or I think it's about 33 pounds including the case. Now, personally, I actually think that's a really good price for both sides you know i would be more than happy paying less than 20 pounds just for this grip because the grip alone is very well made i actually really like the design of it i'm not massively keen on this bit because it kind of like pings off and stuff but the grip itself is actually very good and under 20 pounds i really like that you know this is definitely going to save my wrists and my thumbs over time and for around 33 pounds having that massive case that you could fit a power bank in 10 games and all of like the grips or whatever yeah yeah okay like I, I can get down with that you know I, I do recommend the Skull & Co Neo Grip for the Switch and of course the normal standard Switch does fit in this as well so if you like the look of it well then all you need to do is remove that piece like I showed you and there you go you can use it with a normal Switch and the OLED which is really really cool so yeah I'm pretty happy it comes with multiple different like handles because then you can find which one you like the best for me it's the like extra large ones but maybe if I was traveling maybe I'd just use those little slim ones I don't know but overall I do really quite like this and it's definitely gonna save your hands, your wrists and your thumbs. It, it's just gonna be a good idea. But yeah, that's what I think about the Skull & Co grip case. Maybe you don't want a grip. Maybe you want some alternative Joy-Cons. And in that case, go watch this video where I put the Hori Split Pad Pros head to head with the MobaPad M6 Gemini alternatives. Go watch that if you are looking for some Joy-Con alternatives instead. But before you do anything, go down there and subscribe. Definitely subscribe first, just do it. Just do it. You know you want to subscribe and then watch this video just here.